All right, I'm out here on a spectacular Sunday in Northern Virginia. I'm gonna make a pork loin on the fire here, on, just on the fire pit. And uh, I'm gonna use this. This is the amygdala by um, uh, Apex Alchemy Knives and Billy Ford. I'm gonna use this to split the wood to put on there. This is just wood I got from the grocery store. I uh, live in suburbia. This is going to be uh, my use of this knife. Um, I've used it to carve and I've also used it to baton a little bit. Uh, but before I send it along to scab, who's really going to use this thing? Um, I want to do a little uh, wood prep with it for this dinner I'm going to make. Very much looking forward to this. It's going to be delicious. Goes right through it. This, this, is, the, this is the amygdala that... Uh, Billy made at Jed Hornbeek's shop, and man, it is beautiful. So this will be good kindling for this fire. I, I'm learning how to cook outdoors. I'm having a lot of fun with it. This will be my third meal outside. I started with sauce, because that's what I'm most used to making, uh, Italian food. Uh, but then I did, last time we did, Croque Monsieur's, the French sandwich. Now we're doing pork loin. It'll be delicious. Cannot wait. So ordinarily to do this, I use my Trailmaster. And the Trailmaster has a zero ground swedge. This has zero swedge. And that zero ground swedge on the Trailmaster is great for fighting. <laughs> But for batoning, it really chews up your baton. This, man, this thing is awesome. It has a very nice feel to it. I'm not going to do too much of that because it's just... I mean, I could do this all day long, actually, with this knife. Really nice. So this one he made a sheath for. It's that Cryptek Kydex. Very cool. Very nice sheath. Uh, he's got a little hanger here. I know uh, making knives is still uh, something new to Billy, but from this, I can say uh, he's got uh, a really good eye and a really good hand at making them. So. Can't wait to see more from Apex Alchemy Knives. This is the amygdala. These are Apex Alchemy Knives, uh, knives made by Billy Ford. Billy Ford of Apex Alchemy. You may know him um, from his videos on YouTube, uh, but also he's been making some really cool knives. And these are two of them. I've had these for a little while. Uh, this is the Raptora, a really cool little EDC. Well, it's not that little, that's about a 3.75 inch blade with a really interesting downward raked blade. I've used this to sharpen pencils um, or a pencil. Uh, it works very, very well. It's razor sharp. Um, you know, I don't, I, I couldn't find the details about this one. I know I have them somewhere in uh, emails back and forth, but I think this one is 5160. I could be mistaken, but I, it, I believe it's 5160. Uh, beautiful um, liners and that sort of teal. I think this is Terra Tough, um, my micarta-like material. But very, very interesting design. Great utility blade with that downward raked uh, angle. I would love to see this with a sharp blade with that downward angle. Uh, it would be great for both. What I mean by sharp, I meant like a pointy point, uh, because it would it would be great for that too. Uh, but just a really, really cool knife. Uh, I like this one quite a bit. I thought I would like it better than this, but actually I have fallen in love with this. This is the amygdala. And um, this one, there are two of them here, as you can see. Um, this one was made by Brad Weiss uh, in uh, the grinds and everything. Um, pretty much everything I think was done by uh, Brad Weiss, 80 CRV2, a hollow ground 
Um, this is 5160 at 60 Rockwell. And this really nice um, contoured synthetic material feels so good in hand. Um, it's nice and contoured and rounded off. Very generous handle on this design. Uh, and I like that ordinarily on fixed blades. I like it to be, um, you know, close to the palm of my hand. But that's usually when I'm talking about smaller fixed blade knives that I carry on me. Larger knives, uh, it's nice to have a little bit of extra handle on it. And I found that out, especially with this one. Um, this one was made by uh, Billy Ford, Apex Alchemy Knives, in the shop of Jed Hornbeak and under the watchful eye of the great uh, Jed Hornbeak. Uh, and this one, um, he, he gave me full permission to go to town on, on all of these. This, I don't think I did that actually. Uh, but anyway, he gave me full uh, permission to go to town on this. And uh, this is going to scab after me. So you know, it, it, it'll get some serious, serious usage from him. Uh, for me, uh, going serious is batoning and carving wood at the family fire pit. And I've been doing a lot more of that recently. And uh, I've been bringing this out and I'll, I'll roll in some footage to, to show you. This thing is amazing, man. Just pops open logs. It's got a nice broad blade of about two inches um, across and half of that is a flat grind so it gives a nice it's a nice wedge shape for popping logs open but really it's also really nicely set up for carving and um, <coughs> I want to say I'm tempted to uh, pardon me for that <coughs> I'm tempted to say finer tasks so to speak but all I really know about in terms of finer tasks is car our carving and doing like feather sticks and stuff. And this is great for that. And by carving, I mean whittling. And by whittling, I mean, you know, making a spatula. I've been, I've been doing some, some uh, campfire dinners on the, on the family, on the family barbecue, on the family fire pit. And it's been uh, fun to make the utensils. And uh, this has done that, done that duty. Um, yeah, I've used this a little bit, which uh, is nice because that's definitely what this is for. Uh, a, it's a, it's a hard use and, hard user, hard use knife. Uh, amygdala, you can see that there. Now this one is, uh, did I mention ADCRB2? I think I did. A really nice fit and finish on this. Now, yeah, the, the handle is not in any way loose though. It's received a lot of um, banging on the back here. Uh, great spine, really nice shape. You know, it's a, it's a pretty uh, neutral, um, drop point. And by neutral, I mean, it could be used for so many different things, but you got about a center line point. You have a nice belly. You have a nice long straight area for doing whatever you need a uh, straight area to do. I can tell you this spans, um, you know, a, a log this big and you can pound it through, or you can do something bigger. I know you keep saying, Bob, you know, that's what axes are for, or is batoning all you do? Uh, uh, when you use a knife and basically uh, when I'm using it outside of my uh, ordinary. Yeah, that's pretty much all I'm doing. Cause, or hacking down vines and stuff like that. But I haven't had to do that for a while. I haven't really done that all summer. Uh, so I didn't use that for this. Uh, but this is what, what I'm talking about for the handle. The handle really comes in uh, nice and handy to be. What am I trying to say? I really like the long handle. And this is why. <laughs> Keep your hand out of the way. Also, if you do this sort of uh, choppy motion, which this uh, I did a little bit, you know, where you're you're kind of making a point on a stick, and there was no point to it, and it ended up going in the fire. But just it's fun to do, and uh, it's fun to do with an a, a hatchet too. Uh, but this has really great balance. Uh, it's mostly well, yeah, it's right there in the finger guard, so kind of where you're used to for most. Uh, tactical knives. It's not too forward heavy. It's not too back heavy. It's just nicely balanced right there in the center at the finger choil. And man, I love, I love this knife and I'm grateful he uh, loaned it to me. Thank you, sir. This one I did not use at all. Uh, he mentioned that it doesn't have a very good edge or that it needs a new edge. And I have not done anything to the edge on this. Um, it's really nice. Feels really good. I got to say though, I like the squared off nature of the handle on this one a little bit better. Um, it just feels a little bit more secure against twisting. Uh, and that's mainly 
this surface where my fingers can push down that way and my palm can resist. It really keeps it from turning. This one, uh, it's not going to turn, but it just doesn't quite feel as sure in hand. It does feel incredibly comfortable though. And I, I have no doubt that it would work wonderfully. Uh, I just haven't used it, that's all. So very nice knives. Thank you, Billy. I really appreciate this. Um, this these knives inspired me to make a slightly different kind of video. I'm going to roll in, uh, or maybe I already have at this point. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably edit it at work. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I wanted to make a video cooking with this, but uh, I tried numerous weeks ago uh, with a with a red sauce. The red sauce turned out great. Um, this was not the best cooking knife, um, so. That I did not uh, put in, but uh, again, the amygdala and the raptora from Apex Alchemy Knives. Do check out Apex Alchemy Knives on Instagram and on YouTube, uh, not only for these cool knives, but his reviews of knives, and uh, they do a lot of great live content too. All right, thanks for watching.